What if an NBA team had to accept every trade they were offered in a season, and in that season, there would be no trade deadline? Well, that is what's happening in today's video. I'm going to be rebuilding a team where I have to accept every single offer I get for a trade. So yeah, this challenge is going to be a difficult one. I think I'm going to make a few trades of my own. I don't know if I'll start it with it or not, but it's going to be a fantasy draft. Drafted my team randomly and me offer these trades for my star player. It's going to be tough. We're going to see if we can end up as champions or maybe at least like a top seed. I don't know. It's going to be a difficult challenge for sure. The roster is going to be changing every few days it seems like so i just chose the bucks and fancy draft let's simulate that let's see our team in a minute here so here's his bucks roster james harden middleton clay oh this is gonna be difficult look at all these contracts man these are all max deals right here these are like this is so much money so look at this out of crap right down here 40 37 33 28 15 percent oh jeff cq i don't know why they always give him that contract he's not getting that money right now i don't understand it Anyway, it's going to be a difficult rebuild to do. I don't even know where to start. I think we're just going to keep simulating. And then at around like the halfway mark, then we'll start to make our trades. And remember, there is no deadline. So, you know what? We got, we can't just we gotta make a couple trades off the rip. I'm just thinking about that now. Because otherwise, we're just going to start losing games here. So, we need to get rid of Patrick Williams off the team because he's a rookie. A couple of these young guys we're going to get rid of too. But we'll, we'll probably trade him. <laughs> When we don't even want to, but we'll get rid of Middleton here in this one. Middleton and Williams, although he is a buck, I don't really want him. All right, so we're going to be doing this Jared Allen and Jonathan Isaac trade. So that way we're getting, we need a center and we also get like a small forward. We can use Isaac at the small forward if needed. I'm not sure what our team looks like now. But yeah, let's check it out. And yeah, we actually, it's kind of a stupid trade to be honest. We'll do one more to get um, Lowry off this team as well. Because then we have. Harden, we need a backup, and then Q Grimes. Oh my god, this seems kind of stinky. We need to trade Nance in this trade as well. All right, so from this D Rose and Will Barton trade, we can add some forward depth there and get the Vika point guard we wanted at a cheaper price. So there we go. I think this team is the team we're running with to start the video until the trades happen. Obviously, we're also going to move either Brandon Clark or Larry Nance to the four, and then we have our full team, I think. Yep, so this is the team. In case you didn't see it already, we're on a nine-man with Zaire Williams as the last guy in the roster. Let's see some system for efficiency because it's probably not gonna be that great because this team's kind of, eh, it's not great. We could do get four-star for perimeter centric, pretty solid. We're gonna, um, we don't want to balance. Never mind. So yeah, we'll do this and we'll see when our first trade occurs. It could occur any moment here. So yeah, here's our first trade. We're getting Drew Holiday actually. So trading two pieces we just acquired for Drew Holiday. I mean. Could be worse, honestly. Let's accept this trade here. We're gonna negotiate it. And we'll take Drew Hardy off your hands. Wait, what? There you go. So Drew Hardy is on the team. That's not that bad of a trade, honestly. We, I mean, he's gonna be a sixth man. So we are doing, eh, actually a little bit of a win streak. We're actually, oh, we're getting rid of Zaire. But he wouldn't have an overall player. I like Zaire, but we'll take this, honestly. If this, if this is the trade we do, I mean, I'll take it. I'm upgrading our position slightly. All right, let's keep it going here. We're losing a game, and now we're getting rid of Allen. Oh my God, we're, we're Lonzo Ball is that? Like, we don't need another point guard. That team is so point guard heavy. Um, so yeah, so we have to do that, and then we're. This is bad, man. We'll put Harden at the two for now, and then Clay at the three. I mean, this team isn't terrible, but our center just suck. Like our big men, but we can get carried by these guards and forward for Clay. But let's keep it going here. Hopefully, we get a trade for a big man. I doubt it, but you never know. And we're getting rid of Lonzo Ball for Marcus Smart. Why do we have to add in a pick for that? Like, come on. I guess we have to do it. All right, so Marcus Smart, welcome to the team, I guess. Back of point guard. I mean, Smart and Holiday. I mean, that would be a defensive point guard duo there. Um, but we had actually had Drew Holiday in Milwaukee. And this trade happens, which is funny because, well, first of all, it's another point guard. <laughs> we have basically four point guards on our roster right now. Um, second of all, it's funny because this trade happens a lot with the Warriors. Um, they get rid of Clay for Deer and Fox. But also getting rid of Brandon, Brandon Clark. And we needed him for a center because we have literally our center position sucks now, dude. Back to back point cards, it's not going to be good here. Um, so, I mean, we are like a 500 team ish. Let's hope we can get some wins going. But with, oh my god, we can't get a win with point cards, can we? Come on, another trade can't happen. Or hopefully can happen soon here as so we can get a center. 
Otherwise, I'm going to make a trade at the beginning of the new year here. We are getting another guard. I don't know why it always makes me do that, but another guard. Welcome to the team, Spencer Dinwiddie. Um, so now we have like six guards in our rotation. Great. So it's, I'll stop at the new year here, and I'm going to make a move for my own right now. Did we end up? Okay, we're literally below 500. All right, so I'm going to do in this trade to get Clay back because we need a center. We get a decent one too. I want. I was looking to get Allen back as well, a Jared Allen, but I think we need two players rather than one for our rotation here. So we get Clay back and then Gafford, and now our team's looking much better. We have a lot of guards still, but it's all right. I think we're going to keep going with this. Um, maybe make a couple more trades in the future. I actually, we're getting, well, we're getting rid of Harden. We are getting some more depth though, so it's not the worst that could happen. But yeah, because we're getting Nurkic, so then we can have two centers in a rotation. I like it, finally. So yeah, not too bad, I guess. All right, let's keep it going. Hopefully we can get some wins now with our rotation more heavy. Um, it's not looking that good though. We're losing a lot of games. We're trading Jalen. No, we're trading Jalen Brown for two more players. Now our team's going to be two. We're not going to have enough like star power now. This is not that great, man. This is not great at all. Okay, so here's the team. I mean, it's pretty sad, honestly. Drew Holiday, Clay, uh, Michael Porter Jr., Kuzma, and then we have like two 80s a gaffer. Like, this team is pretty good, honestly. The problem is, I know we can run a, we can run a 10 man now at this point, but um, the problem is there's no like star. Like, Drew Holiday, you can see him on the Bucks. He hasn't performed too well as the main option. So, I don't know. We'll see how the season goes. And now we're getting Bane from Nurkic. I mean, it's not terrible. We can put Clay at the back to the, the three at episode one to two. So, that's not too bad. And we have, I mean, we don't have another center now, but that's all right. So, here's what the team is looking like now. Drew Howdy, Clay, Bane. Uh, why do they want, they want um, Anderson or Sudden over Kuzma? That's interesting. But, yeah, it's all right. Let's keep it going here. Let's hope we can get some wins and... Okay, all-star teams. I mean, not even look at that because our team's been so, like, ups and down. It's crazy. We are above or below 500. And now we're getting Ring of Bane. We just got Bane. Now we're getting him for, him for, like, an average center. So we traded our center for Bane. And then we're getting rid of him for, like, an average one. I mean, he's young, but we don't want young. Come on, man. It's sad, man. That's, that's very sad. The contract extension deadline just passed. We're getting... Oh, we're getting rid of Clay. No, I like Clay in the team, man. Dang, we're getting rid of Clay for our worst player. Like, I don't understand why we do these trades, man. It's like, who, what kind of GM runs this team? Like, I'm not the GM. Let's get that straight. I'm not the GM. I'm the assistant GM. And now we're getting rid of another good player for Joe Harris. Like, what are we doing? We, we're going for picks. We're not rebuilding. The heck is this, man? To add an exception to... I think on the last day of the season, I'm making one trade. I, that's, I think that's fair. Or actually, we're not even make the playoffs, so it's not even going to matter at this point. Let's get some wins and at least get in the playoffs. And now we're getting rid of Juhade. We are getting Grant, but I think we don't have a center now. That's, ah, who do we have at center? That's not good. Actually, we have Gafford, I guess. That's not terrible. Let's see the rotation now. We have Drew. He's here for the long run. We got Conley now. Our team is deep, and we're getting rid of Conley and Gafford from two centers. Ah, uh, I mean, one of them's not going to get playing time, so it's like, what are we do? Oh, I just declined an accent. My bad, guys. Um, we're now we're getting rid of. I'm oh, getting tired. Lowry back on the team. I did not mean to decline that trade. I'm sorry about that, but it's one trade. What does it really matter? We just made another one instantly. So, uh, this is not good. I think what we're gonna do is from now on there's no more trades um, it's, i mean we got two weeks bro so i'm gonna try to make the playoffs here i'm trading i'll make a one trade i get one trade and that's it i mean look at this team i thought we had like a star we have nobody we have a bunch of eight like low 80s like we're not going anywhere bro you know what i'm not gonna go away from the challenge we're finishing it out here there's no point even because like i doubt we even make the playoffs <laughs> ah it's no, no one's gonna offer us. No one's gonna offer us. We do get Gary Trent. I'm getting worse. Like, how many picks do we have right now? We probably have a bunch of seconds. Yeah, honestly, we don't even have that many picks for what we do. Like, we just get worse every trade. Like, I don't understand how you can accept these trades, bro. Well, I'm accepting them, but I don't understand who they get off from. Did we make the playoffs? I highly doubt it. Ten wins below. I mean, it could be a ten seed. Um. How did he win coach there? 49 wins. 
Well, it's been a really even league there. I mean, it is a fancy draft, so. Any, what player, what team are we after? Yeah, the Bucks. Now, I doubt there's any players because we have no star players at this point. And yeah, we definitely did not make it. So yeah, that's gonna be the video. I don't even know what just happened, to be honest. Our team, there was so much changes. Like, I didn't know how to do it. Like, should I make trades, should I not? Because as soon as I made trades, our team just went to crap because they just traded the players I traded for. So the highest score on our team was Brooks. I mean, that's rough at the end of the year. Like, our team was not good at the end of the year. But the whole year was, like, decent. We had Harden, Holiday, Clay, like, decent players. But now our team's just full of bums. So obviously we're not going to go far. And obviously didn't even make the playoffs, so... Zion averaged 38 in that series. A young Zion versus Trey series. I'd like to see that. And Zion wins MVP. So yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. A little bit of a fun video once again. If you haven't checked out any of my other videos, go be sure to check them out and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.